guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So then, in this video, we're going to be adding Black Ops 1 weapons to your map. So, full credit here, though, to Sky for doing all the work for this. Um, I've quite simply just repackaged uh, their original weapon pack um, just for the purposes uh, of, the, of this tutorial. Uh, but they actually did all the work for this, then. So, what we're going to do, first of all, is, of course, going to download the weapons pack. The link for this will be in the, in the description. Once we've opened up that, we're going to go over to our Black Ops 3 root directory and we're just going to be dragging and dropping um, all these folders uh, into our root. You do not need to uh, drag and drop uh, this text document in and uh, that's going to be used a little bit later on. So once that's been done, you'll need to go to your launcher. Um, if this is already open, you're going to need to close that and reopen it. Um, when you do reopen it, um, you may have a few issues down here um, for things like duplicates, um, and stuff like that. If you do have any duplicate assets, it's not a problem. Um, it's quite easy to fix. Uh, but I do have a dedicated video though going over exactly what that is and kind of like what the process for, for sorting that out is. It is quite simple, but if, if it's something new or you haven't sort of seen that before, it might not be necessarily obvious um, exactly what to do there. Um, that is, of course, also based on what content you have already installed. So if you don't have anything else installed, um, to conflict, you will probably be perfectly fine here uh, and there will be no need to do that. Anyway, once everything's been processed properly, um, we can then go ahead and actually include all this into the map. So to do this, we go go to our root directory, go 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 down to user maps, your map name in this case is ZM test, and we're going to open up zone source and our map name dot zone. Cool. So in the description, um, I'll have a line, which you go to copy and paste and put that into here. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this from my other screen. There we go. I just gonna copy, uh, well, paste uh, this line into here. Uh, I normally put it after the scripts, but you can pretty much put it wherever you want. Uh, and this is just gonna pretty much include everything we need uh, into our map. So we're gonna save that. Next, what we need to do is add in all the sounds. So we're gonna go back to our map folder, we'll go to sound, go to zone config, and our map name dot uh, SZC. Open up that. Same thing with the zone. Um, well, for the most part, same anyway, quite similar. Uh, we will copy uh, this. Uh, this will also be in the description for you to copy and paste. Um, pretty much just under user aliases anywhere underneath here. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in here and just paste that in like so. Uh, just make sure that the brackets um, and the comma um, are, you know, as they are here, uh, make sure you, know, you don't have any sort of syntax sort of changed or anything like that. So once that's in, we can uh, save that. Next, what we need to do is go and customize all these weapons to include them in the box. Now, if you've not done this before, uh, it's not a problem. I have a dedicated video uh, showing you exactly how to do that and, and basically what options uh, are available. Um, if you have done it, then perfect. Um, but you know, if not, then go ahead, watch that. Um, and the result of it will be, uh, in your map folder, you'll have this game data folder in here. You've got weapons and then you've got a ZM and in here you'll have ZM level common weapons. So all we're going to do is edit this. I'm going to go and grab this text document from the download. All we're going to do is copy all this. What was that? And we're pretty much going to be pasting it into here. Now, because there is a limit to how many weapons you're going to have in your map, um, if you do want to have a mix of different weapons, that's perfectly fine. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to be completely replacing all of the Black Ops 3 weapons in this map um, with uh, Black Ops 1 weapons. Um, of course, if you do have a bit of a mix, then put whatever you want in here. Um, in this case, I'm just replacing them all. Um, but if you do put too many in here, you may get some map crashes and um, that's just down to an engine limit. So if that is the case, just remove a few um, and see if that sorts out the problem there. So I'm going to just highlight all these, all up to Tesla gun. Tesla gun is the wonder waffer and of course we've got the ray gun. So I'm going to be replacing all the Black Ops 3 just standard weapons. Um, so we'll paste that into there like so. Save that. So that's all the weapons now included in the box. Um, pretty much the final step now, really, um, is to open up the map in Radiant. And we just go go, go and uh, put a couple wall buys uh, into the map. Um, this is really just 
for when I'm testing it. Um, of course, if you want to just rely on the box, that's perfectly fine. So if we go over to here, we'll put them on this wall. Now I've got my prefab uh, folder uh, a little bit different. Um, just, just the way I prefer to have it. Um, your wall binds though are actually located. So if you go into map source, prefabs, ZM, this is the ZM folder down here. So in there, you'll have sky prefabs, BO1 weapons, and you'll have all the weapons, uh, all the wall buy options for that. But I'm going to go to ZM and I'm going to go to a different folder just because that's where I keep them. And I'm just going to drag and drop them in um, like any normal wall buy um, from Black Ops 3. Not really much difference here. Just drag and drop them in, obviously. Move away from the wall a little bit just for that chalk uh, outline. Uh, I'll put the commando in as well, why not? Just two completely random weapons I'm putting in just to just to use when I when I load in. So save that, close that down. Next what we need to do is do a full compile. Um, I've got my lighting on low just to sort of make it a bit quicker. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build this uh, and then once it's done, I'll jump into, into game uh, and show this all working. Okay, so over in Black Ops 3, let's go and grab the wall binds. Bunker, okay. nice. I'm still going to pack a bunch uh, the commander. There you go. Okay, so this has been how to uh, install Black Ops 1 weapons in T-Map. And of course, any questions you have, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll, do my, I'll do my best to help you guys there. But other than that, hopefully this has helped. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.